started, let's open up CorelDRAW. Whichever version you have will work fine for this because they haven't really changed their interface since uh, for quite a while. Uh, the next thing we want to do is import our bitmap. So click File, Import, and then locate the picture that you want to trace. And then click on the page somewhere so it places it. And then we're going to resize it just to make it fit on the page better. And to do this resizing style, uh, I'm holding down Shift while I'm dragging at a corner. And this basically changes everything the same all the way around. Okay, next we're going to zoom in on it so we can actually see what we're tracing. So draw a box around it using the zoom tool. Zoom it in a little bit more here. Okay, and the tool that I use is called the Bezier tool. And that essentially lets you put points down and things. Um, but we're going to go into simple wireframe mode first because it turns everything kind of gray and it lets you see the design a little better. So the Bezier tool essentially lets you pick points and what I do is I click and drag which drags a handle and that lets me make the curve for the line that I'm tracing around the heart. And if you can follow my points here you can see that each point that I make is a certain distance away depending on how curvy it is before that. Uh, straight lines, of course, you can just click and, and, and not drag a handle. Uh, now for this design, since it's symmetrical, I'm simply going to duplicate the right side by hitting Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste. And then that gets, basically brings another copy of it right on top of the other one. Now I'm going to horizontally mirror that design so that it's uh, the other way. And then scooch it over so it's a little closer to the end points. And then we're going to zoom in really close to those control points at the ends just to make sure that uh, the, the ends are kind of touching each other. Okay, so once we get that moved in there, I'm going to hold down Shift and click on the second line and then come up here to Combine. And this will combine both both sides together, which will allow us to select just the node at the tip or at that V point. If you right click on the node, click join, and that puts those two nodes together. So now it makes it one shape. Now we have to zoom out to see the entire design again because we have to zoom in on the point down at the bottom because that's our second node. We do the same thing. We draw a line or a box around the nodes, right click on it, join, and then I'm going to grab this and just move it down to where the bitmap shows if the point is. Okay, and then we're going to zoom out to the object. All right, so there's our heart. Basic trace, very simple. Let's go back to enhanced with overprints mode in view so you can see the color. Now I'm going to click on the red heart, that's the one I got off the internet, and delete it. Just hit the delete key on your keyboard. Okay, and at this point, let's zoom to the page, because I want to move this down to the lower left corner of my page in Corel. This is your origin point on any machine that we make. Now, because Crystal Studio doesn't like black as a color, what we're going to use is blue, or cyan. So if you right-click on the color, it will turn that outline color that color. Like I said, Crystal Studio doesn't like black very much, so we try to use a different color. All right, now let's try to export this. So go File, Export, and put it in a location where you can find it again. And I've named this Heart. Make sure Selected Only is checked. Make sure PLT HPGL Plotter File is the Save As Type in the box and then hit export. Now on this next window we want to click on the page tab and just make sure that says bottom left and on the advanced tab your curve resolution says zero and none of these boxes are checked and the simulated fill says none otherwise it will not work. Alright, 